Chicago has been fantastic. I've been here many times over the years, but between the beautiful weather and just all the flowers and everybody's in a good mood. Chicago did a great job. You know, we are laughing because it's like, it, the Magnificent Mile is so beautiful. We're like, wait, did they spruce that up for the convention? It's like, no, it's always this way. <laughs> the thoughts of just two out of town visitors who spent several days in Chicago for the Democratic National Convention and the general consensus, the city did great. But there were concerns before the week began. Would Chicago be up to the task amid our challenges, which the city's critics are all too happy to point out? Chicago 96. Let's go back to the 1996 Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Much of the focus then was the last time the city had hosted the DNC. And the convention will be in order. The infamous 1968 convention. When police clashed with Vietnam demonstrators in the streets. In 96, I was Mayor Richard M. Daley's press secretary and every reporter from across the country asked Daley about 68 when his father, Richard J. Daley, was mayor and the elder Daley's handling of the protesters. It was one look back in 1996. This week's DNC brought into focus where Chicago is now. For years, the city has been a right-wing punching bag, a symbol of urban America's decay. Look at this headline from the New York Post the week of the convention. Crime-filled Chicago displays all that's wrong with Democrats in one failing city. Add that bleak reputation to the promise of thousands of protesters coming to Chicago, fears of violent unrest, even questions about whether delegates would be safe, all under the eye of national and international media. You can understand that city leaders and citizens alike might be on pins and needles this week, but we were once again reminded that Chicago has few peers when it comes to staging big events. Lollapalooza, NASCAR, parades, conventions that are much bigger than the DNC. After the debacle of 1968. Can we stop talking about 1968? The 1996 convention was a big success. Those of us in city government were proud and more than a little relieved. Today we can breathe a little easier now that the 2024 DNC is over. As for all those eyes on Chicago this week, we'll let the CBS News analyst and former Chicago mayor have the last word. I, what I heard all day today was, wow, this city is great. I said, yes, it is. Tell everybody. The Fox News version of Chicago isn't real. This has got to be a four-day love letter to the city of Chicago.